Financial advisors, CFP practitioners, anyone who provides investment guidance will be familiar with the multitude of documents that must be managed on behalf of their clients. Carriers typically provide a web portal where statements can be downloaded as PDF files. But from there, the financial information, such as the beneficiary name, gain and loss, beginning and ending values, must be painstakingly rekeyed into a spreadsheet so that the information can be used for forecasting or sent on to a CRM system. Empira AutoML technology allows anyone to train a machine learning model to read and understand annuity statements in an easy to use interface. No code, just a few clicks. And in this video, I'll show you how to do it. To get started, head on over to empira.com slash sign up to create your free account. You can process up to 200 file units or pages for free. We won't ask for your credit card information and there's no time limit for the evaluation. Once you create your account, you'll want to create a collection. Collections are used to group similar files together. Click on the plus symbol and give your collection a name such as Stark Statements. And click Create Collection. Now, let's upload some sample documents. There are a lot of ways to send files to Empira, including forwarding emails with attachments or synchronizing with cloud storage services like Dropbox and Amazon S3. But for now, let's upload via the browser. Make sure you have your new collection selected. Then, simply drag and drop your statements onto the page. Your files will immediately begin processing. And during the processing step, Empira will conduct a full OCR scan of the text within the documents. Each file is then displayed as a row in the table. When you're ready, double click on the first file to open up the markup interface. Let's start by extracting the beneficiary name. Click and drag to highlight the text. Then on the right hand sidebar, give it a name like beneficiary name and click add field. Now close the X in the top right corner and you'll see that we've added a column to our table. Notice the spinner in the column header. This indicates that the Empira AutoML is updating the model and is applying its learnings to the remainder of the documents in your collection. Notice that some of the cells may be blank or there may be a red flag on the left-hand side of the cell. This is a quick visual indication of the underlying numerical confidence score. We need to provide additional training to the model to boost the confidence levels, and that's easy to do. Simply double click on one of the low confidence cells to reopen the markup interface. If the value is correct, click on the check mark to confirm the predicted value. If it's incorrect, click on the pencil to edit and redraw the box. In my case, the prediction is correct, so I will confirm the predicted value. Every time you accept or correct a predicted value, that information is fed back into the Empira AutoML for immediate retraining. As you validate predictions, you will start to see the confidence indicators change from red to green, indicating high confidence. We can extract as much information as we need from the documents by adding more fields. We can do this by repeating the same steps as we did for beneficiary name. Let's go ahead and add the quarter, the investor number, the beginning balance, and the ending balance. You can use the arrows in the top menu to quickly flip through the documents and validate your predictions. Things are looking really good, but let's say you want to split the dates in the quarter column into quarter start and quarter end. Empira goes beyond just extracting your data. You can also enrich and transform the data right here in the same interface. Scroll to the right hand side and click on the plus symbol to add a new field. Give it the name Quarter Start. Change the type from Text Extraction 
to a function. Functions are a lot like formulas in Excel. Let's do our first one together. We'll use the split command and we'll reference the quarter column. We want to do the split on the hyphen, so we'll use comma, single quote, hyphen, and close parentheses. This would return both the left and right sides. For the quarter start, we'll need to wrap this expression with the index command. Comma, zero, close parentheses. Now click create. Great, now let's add quarter end. We'll repeat the same steps. Type in quarter end, change type to function, and then we'll use our command index split quarter on the hyphen. And this time, instead of zero, we'll use one, close parentheses, and click create. Great! Things are looking really good. Now let's add three new files. We'll drag and drop them onto the collection as we did before. Empira will process the files and append them as new rows onto the collection. The fields that we defined are automatically applied. including the quarter start and quarter end. Once you're satisfied with your results, you might choose to download your data as a CSV file. To do that, click on the download button and choose CSV. Empira also provides a robust set of REST APIs for programmatically exporting your data. If you have any questions, click on the question mark at the top right corner, email Empira support or view the Empira documentation. We hope that Empira AutoML will save you lots of time and effort processing your statements. Thanks for watching.